Hi everybody and welcome back to my vlog. Today it's all about Blues Fest 2022. Uh, hallelujah, it finally arrived with the um, determination and persistence of the director, Peter Noble. What a great bloke. So yeah, um, you know, despite the mud, the pandemic, the floods, the crowds, um, yeah, just all those setbacks, it actually was a roaring success in my opinion and a lot of other people. And yeah, so I just wanted to do this video to kind of show you the highlights of uh, my, you know, personal experience of the Blues Fest. It's actually my first time, so yeah, strap yourself in, this one might be a long one. Angels were on at about quarter past five uh, just when we arrived um, Yeah, they were fabulous. The crowd was wild. There were so many people there So they played a rock and set. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go up the front like I normally do However, I uh, still enjoyed it and yeah, they just were on fire. They delivered a really um, Just scorching set so check them out The Crossroads tent was the main tent that uh, pretty much held all the performers that I wanted to see. After the Angels, we saw Living End. They were fabulous, so check them out. I think you'll really enjoy them. The Hoodoo Gurus, fantastic. I did kind of want to, um, again, go up the front, but the crowds kind of kept me all the way back. It was just too hard to, you know, barge through. So, yeah, I sort of just um, saw and heard them from a distance, but they were great. Don't know if you can hear me, but this is um, a section called Craft Beer or something or other. And it's probably one of the few areas where you can get a drink uh, within like five, ten minutes. 
the rest of the places it's going to take you about 40 or maybe 35 minutes so yeah i wanted to see the gurus the hoodoo gurus but it's too crowded so we're just kind of hanging around sitting here and just yeah hanging around just having a beer um yeah just people watching it's okay it's good vibe He was excellent. He was in a different tent and uh, whilst it was crowded, you were sort of able to see him a little bit closer and he just put on a fantastic performance. Really, really enjoyed Russell Morris. What a legend, an Australian legend. Jimmy Barnes came on at 8 o'clock. He was actually introduced by a politician um, that, yeah, really got booed loudly, but nevertheless, Barnsley was great. G'day. It's great to be at Blues Fest. I begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet. Pay my respect to elders past and present and what we want is to recognize First Nations people in our the whole performance um, again yeah three or four songs a lot of the time and I was just off wandering maybe to another tent and just checking out because there was so many bands on it was really hard to stay put uh, Renee Gaya she was fantastic I loved her what a great entertainer she was really entertaining she was great I loved her and I wish I'd sort of stayed the whole set but again I was off going to see another band and that band was the Backsliders they were excellent. I love them. Backsliders in particular, um, one of the reasons I love them is that Rob Hurst from Midnight Oil is one of the main, obviously, um, artists in the band and he's just a powerhouse. He's fantastic. So their music is very bluesy. I've seen them before. They're fantastic. Backsliders. <laughs> Yeah. 
is for the mind. You're what is for the mind. Try to save my soul tonight. Now it's nobody's fault.